where I throw them and then um, square them by hand and add a little clay and then do some sure forming and refining to get them into the form. And then um, I've been taking uh, slip transfers with silk screens and then playing around with some other things. So thinking about them as having four sides and then I've also been thinking about playing around, you know, having some things wrap around and some things not. So it's just, um, for me, it's kind of a fun parameter to have with a lot of different solutions of how to approach it, which is something I like to have in the studio is to have kind of um, within a, a body of work to have directions to explore and um, have fun with and thinking about new ideas as I'm working. One of the reasons I really like press molding is it allows me to do things on the surface when it's a slab mm -hmm. and then um, turn that flat surface into a three-dimensional surface. Um, so this is a piece I'm working on. It'll actually turn into a vase, so this is half of the vase. Um, <laughs> and for this one I have, it's a blown up lace pattern that's in the background. It's kind of faint and then there's slip over it and then um, the crackle pattern. And so um, a lot of what I'm trying to do with my layering is combine elements that are more kind of decorative and refer to human made pattern and ornamentation with things that are more natural. Um, and so I really enjoy, as I've mentioned, the slabs, working on the slabs allows me to build up layers um, kind of from the minute I start touching the clay and thinking about the surface and what's going to go on the surface. And then I'll also can come in later and put more layers on top of this. So it's kind of a, a thing that happens at every step of um, working with the clay all the way through the final glaze firing.